Hey, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be talking about the top three things that you can do to balance your work life during the holidays. These are the things that I tend to neglect and I want to keep sure that I keep doing this and I hope that it can help you as well. So the number one thing that I do so that I can maintain those relationships with my family and friends and not think about business all the time, number one is I delegate to people. I do this way before my holidays because I know that I have to train them so that they know what I like. That way when I get to my holiday, I can trust them and I know that the job is gonna get done. However, if you're just starting out right now, and you don't have the funds to do it, you can still do it by, go, by going to marketplaces like Fiverr.com or maybe Upwork.com because there you can still get cheap workforce that is really motivated and really wants to help you. Make sure to just really look at the applicants. Now, after a while, you'll be building out your brand and you would want someone who's close to you and who really knows what your brand is about. And that's when you start hiring in your marketplace your region and building out that brand but you can still do both but no matter where you hire you always need to have a step-by-step -step procedure that you've gone through already that you can ask your people to do as well and of course based on their experience they can do an even better job than you when I first learned delegation it was very hard for me to let go of something that I wanted to do because it was my business. My mentor told me that when you delegate, you delegate 100%, not 99%, and then 1% micromanaging. That's not how it works. You should really trust the people that you work with. If you don't trust them, you shouldn't be hiring them in the first place. So 99% is not delegation. Only 100% is delegation. Now, this brings us to step two. You want to have a systems mindset because if you're going to delegate but you're not going to be sure about what the people are going to do then that's probably because you as a leader didn't have a proper system in your business to begin with you always should think about the step-by-step -step procedures that you're doing in everything that you do in your business now where does this all come from there's a book by sam carpenter and he talks about the systems mindset and he says that you can use software, hardware, or even people to keep your business running because your business in the whole is a system. So always look at that and then look what is the best thing that you can do. Customer service, you can't outsource that to a robot. You can't outsource that to software. People have to do the customer service. But there are other stuff like things like sending out emails on specific dates. You can get a thing like MailChimp or Aweber to just plan in and schedule your emails to arrive on a certain date. For instance, every Friday I send an email to my email list. But right now I'm speaking on a conference in Portugal. That means that I can't physically send that email on Friday. However, I'm gonna write it the day before, schedule it in, and it'll be delivered. Do I need a person, an assistant to do that? No she can do other stuff that is more efficient for the business and can actually start bringing in sales. So look at the software that you can use, things like MailChimp, Aweber, maybe even Google Boomerang so that you can remind yourself of specific emails that have come in and because you're on a holiday you don't want to look at it. Evernote, Trello, these are things that you can look at uh, with your outsourcers, outsourcers so that you can see that the step-by-step -step procedure that you've outlined is getting done because the outsourcers can just check it off every time they finish something. So these are all systems, software, apps that you can use. Now the last thing that I want to give you, and this is the most important thing, when you're on a holiday, relax and think about your family and friends. Don't always work. And the way you do that, at least the way I do that, is I can't stop myself checking emails, of course. Like, it has to be a transition of a couple of days before I completely stop. However, what I do is I reduce notifications. I delete all the apps that I don't need. So things like Facebook, like all the social media, I tend to delete so that I don't get these notifications all the time. Or 
I go in settings and I reduce all notifications. For instance, Snapchat users tend to send a lot of messaging, especially if you do your marketing on Snapchat, you're gonna get a lot of messages from all the followers you have. But if you just turn off all your notifications, you know that you'll answer later. You don't have to answer in that moment to all of your followers, even though I have that motivation to always answer right away. But it's not healthy should be thinking about other stuff so reduce those notifications because you know you're gonna get back to them you don't have to answer right away so those are the three tips that you can cover delegate to people think about the systems mindset and reduce your notifications if you cover those three things then you know that you have the basics covered and you can enjoy your holiday so if you want to know more tips or you want to know more details about the tips I've just outlined, we've written a blog post just for you. Just click here and you'll find out all the blog posts that we have specifically on this topic. We've outlined more than 15 tips on all these kind of things that you can do to have a work-life balance during your holiday. So if you want to know all the 15 tips, click here and I'll see you soon in the next video. The way you do a silent day is actually very, very simple. No matter what, you choose one day in the week. Maybe you've heard about it before, but in the Bible, he also mentioned to pick one day a week. I got it from John Gray's book, where he refers to the Bible. And you pick one day a week, you can choose a weekend, you can choose a weekday.